Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hello if you're new. Today, as the title suggests, I'm trying actually a new brand to me. I've not tried Josh Wood Colour before and there was tons of product. I kind of like went into a bit of a rabbit hole and tried to find the best one for me to try initially. So this is their Miracle Mask, the colour locking hair glossing deep condition mask for every hair colour. I've got a smaller sample one because I love finding where I can a smaller version of a product to give you guys my first impressions. As you can probably tell, I review so many hair products that I have so many leftover products. I donate as much as I can. I give lots to friends and family. My work love me because I bring in bags of hair masks and things. So I always like to find smaller ones just to make sure that I can use all of it very, very easily. We'll just see how miracle inducing this really is because so far my hair just really needs something and maybe it's this kind of miracle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and shampoo my hair. I find hair masks work the best if you shampoo initially just to cleanse any dirt off and then going with a hair mask. I just find that it's really, really great. You can do it before you shampoo if you want to. Hair masks are all about experimentation, but I find that by shampooing your hair initially gets rid of all the dirt, the oil, anything sitting on your scalp or your hair that may prevent the hair mask from penetrating and doing exactly what it needs to do. So if you can do so, I'd really recommend it. But with that said, I'm going to demo exactly how I use this to get best results and I'll be back once my hair has been initially washed just so that we can get into trying this and seeing how well this works together. Okay, so my hair is all shampooed now and I'm gonna go in with this product. Let's look at the formula. Oh, that is a thick looking hair mask. This actually reminds me slightly of the Beauty Bay one I tried not that long ago in terms of consistency. So there's definitely similarities there. Oh, Beauty Bay been duping some products recently. So I'm just gonna add this all over to my hair. I always apply it some to my scalp. I find that because my new hair comes through there, I like to make sure that I'm treating all of my hair in exactly the same way. It feels so incredible. It smells very earthy though. So if you don't like that type of fragrance product, it's not like my favorite, but this is very, very scented as I'm kind of working it into my hair. It's a very strong scented product which is something just to be mindful of if you don't love that type of thing. I tend to like look past scents when it's hair care, like coconut for example is a scent I don't love, but it works so well on my hair that I'm kind of getting a little bit like, I don't know, I just look past them a little bit because I can't judge a product too harshly on the smell if it works well. So now that that's all in, I'm slightly underwhelmed, I'm going to be honest, because this is called a miracle mask, I felt like the formula would be kind of miraculous, but this feels very, very conditioner-like in my hair. It's similar to the Beauty Bay one where it was kind of not great, but not bad. It's very, very kind of like fine, if that makes sense, especially for someone like me that has relatively fine hair. Anyone with thicker hair, I don't think this would work as well for you as something that is thicker. And so that's something just to bear in mind because obviously it kind of markets itself as a miracle mask. And so far, it might be that the results speak differently, but so far I'm feeling like it is slightly underwhelming based on the claims of this product and how it feels in my hair. I've definitely had ones that feel better in my hair at this point that make me feel a little bit more like I'm gonna get a lot more deep conditioning because it doesn't feel extraordinary. I'll just say that. What I'll do is I'll check in in half an hour just to show you what the product is looking like after that time. I leave all hair masks on for 30 minutes just because it lets the product do everything it needs to do. And also I test all of my hair masks in exactly the same way on my channel. That way I can give comparisons between how one works compared to another. If I did everything differently, then it's not really a fair test. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'll show you what it's looking like in 30 minutes. But yeah, so far I'm not loving the way that this feels in my hair. And I've definitely tried loads of other hair masks at A, more kind of hydrating and better feeling at this point, but also are a lot more affordable. We wanna make sure that what we are spending our money on is the best kind of decision for our hair and our wallets too. So yeah, 
this is what it's looking like so far let's see what it looks like in 30 minutes and then we can make a final judgment call with the results and i'll kind of let you know exactly how i'm feeling based on everything so far so i'm back and half an hour has been and gone and there's some areas that are drying up a little bit more than others there's just some areas that it's like starting to kind of clump together a little bit which you sometimes get with hair masks when they've been on for a bit too long but otherwise it still feels like there's lots of product the ends are looking particularly not so great in my opinion it's kind of just like lots of like strays and flyaways that are coming away from the mask which should just be smoothing it instead of making it look a little bit wild so not too fast on that right now but otherwise there's still a lot of product in my hair you'd expect that for it just being 30 minutes but yeah quite sure what to think at this point i've definitely tried hair masks at this check-in point i haven't been that different and typically they work really really well on my hair so we shall see together how this does work i'm going to jump into the shower and just finish up conditioning and then i will dry my hair with my dyson supersonic on like the coldest setting just so that i prevent any heat damage or anything like that but yeah we shall see what this looks like miracle mask i'm really not sure at this point I'm actually really surprised at the outcome of this because applying it was not my favourite as you guys saw. Washed out, it's definitely hydrated well and it's definitely kind of made my hair look super sleek and shiny which is a great plus. Really, really strange. I did not expect this result based on the process. I'm not mad. <laughs> I was really worried about having to like wash my hair again. It kind of just like skews all of your like routine, doesn't it? However, it definitely deep conditioned as it claimed to be. Do I think it's this miracle that it's marketed as? No. I've definitely had hair masks that feel better in my hair now. Looks are deceiving here. I think that it looks incredibly soft, but I definitely wish it was just slightly thicker. That is my kind of like biggest thing is that I just wish it was slightly thicker and that my hair just felt a little bit more deep conditioned. I can be picky because I've tried so many hair masks. I think that if you've got this and you already have it and you're looking for reviews on how to use it, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I do, however, think if you're looking at reviews and thinking, do I purchase this? I know this isn't like a cheap hair mask and I think that you can get a lot more affordable hair masks that give very similar results to this. So check out my hair care playlist. The ones specifically for hair masks have all of my reviews in there. So from really affordable, hair masks to ones that are a little bit more expensive find kind of the best ones for your budget and see my results there because this is very comparable to other ones i can get very easily and much more affordably too so yeah i kind of like the results i'm happy with it but i think when you put it in the context of like all other products on the market i don't think it's wowing me and the fact that this is a miracle mask I would have expected more so yeah sorry josh wood color because i am being particularly picky but i think that when you market something with those choice of words it needs to be kind of outstanding and it needs to be like above ground kind of performance wise and i don't think that this is it so yeah i i'm not mad at the results i think my hair does look super nice so i don't want to take that away from it but yeah when i kind of think in comparison i think that I could get better results or similar results from ones that cost a little bit less let me know what you guys think am i being too harsh sorry um but i always like to try and keep things as honest as possible so that's basically this channel is always that it's always honest if not sometimes a bit too honest so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video i hope that you enjoyed seeing my results really like it but yeah would have expected more i will see you guys in my next video <laughs> bye